In this video, we'll be discussing about the mismatch accession repair in eukaryotes. Here we have a DNA strand having upper as parental strand and lower one the daughter strand. And within this DNA, we can see the gaunin mismatches here with thymine base. Normally, we can see the base pairing as gaunin with cytosine and adenine with thymine. But here the thymine mismatches and this thymine needs to be replaced with cytosine in repair mechanism. Now before getting into the details, let's have a look on the enzymes that we need for MMR for eukaryotes. First of all, we have the MSH2 and MSH6, which we can see in the diagram. It forms as the mute S alpha complex. This complex scans the DNA and recognizes the mismatch site. Then we have MLH1 and PMS2 enzymes, collectively termed as mute L alpha complex which acts as an endonuclease. It works by nicking the DNA strand. Then we have PCNA protein, which aids in repair replication and activation of MUTL. Uh, furthermore, we can see RFC, which recruits the PCNA, RPA enzyme, which binds single strand and increases the stability. Then we have DNA polymerase delta, which synthesizes the DNA strand, and exo-1, that catalyzes the removal of nucleotides. And we also have ligase 1 that ligates the DNA strand finally. Now let's see the whole mechanism in detail. Here in this diagram where the DNA having mismatch bases. The daughter strand has thymine instead of cytosine and we need to repair it. First of all we have the recognition of mismatch. We see the MSH2 and MSH6 complex comes in and binds with the DNA strands and scans for the mismatch. Once the mismatch is detected, MSH proteins drives the recruitment of MLH1 and PMS2 towards the mismatch as shown in the animation. Then RFC protein is recruited towards the site and this RFC in turn recruits the PCNA as shown in the animation. After that, PCNA drives the activation of PMS2 subunit of mute L which acts as endonuclease and in that time RPA also binds the site. Then we see this PMS2 endonuclease protein nicks the DNA strand nearby the mismatch site so that exonuclease can enter and work on the strand to remove the nucleotides. Now at the nicked site, we can see the exonuclease comes in and removes the nucleotides including the mismatched nucleotides which is thymine here, thus leaving a gap as shown in the diagram. After that, DNA polymerase delta comes in and starts synthesizing the DNA strand with the correct nucleotides as shown in the diagram. This time, G is paired with cytosine, thus repairing the mismatch. Now at the end, we are left with a nick in the strand and we need to ligate the strand. And for this, ligase 1 comes in and ligates the strand, which completes the mechanism of mismatch excision repair. So this is how the mismatch excision rapier works within the eukaryotes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.